Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. In this week's video, we're going to look at creativity and just the thought process behind being creative with your images. And the reason we're doing this is just that I've recently released a Photoshop course. It's just a short course, it's two and a half, just over two and a half hours long, looking at creating watercolour effects and watercolour style images using Photoshop and using your own images. If you're interested in it, I'll put a link to the course down below. It's just over two and a half hours long, comes with lots of assets, brushes, textures, overlays, and it's just, it's aimed at beginners and more advanced users. And it'll just allow you to try different things if you're interested in it. But this week's video is looking at the versatility of, in this case, the brushes that come along with the course. And we are going to dive in and look at using the brushes for other techniques. Okay, how we're going to do this is we're going to go File, New. And you have all your templates here and you can find as many as you want simply by going up to the saved ones, the photo, print, art and illustration and so on. We're going to work with A4 and now if A4 isn't here, go to print and A4 should be here. If you can't see it, just check view all presets and you will find it amongst this. So the first thing is we're going to drag in the background and you'll notice it's a bit smaller, but just click OK. Then we'll drag in the angel and she'll stand there and then click OK. These are smart objects and we actually don't need them as smart objects in this case. So what I'm going to do is select the top one, the angel layer, and then select background by holding down shift. And the two of them are selected. Right click, rasterize layers. Now, just selecting the background layer, go Control or Command and T, and you'll notice that the handles appear. If you, again, if you hold down Shift, just take that out to the edge, take it out to that edge. So as that we're ready for the end part of this edit as well, what we're going to do is we're going to grab Gold Foil 1 and take it up to along the top, just underneath the options panel and drop it there and you'll notice it will open up in a new tab and do the same with gold foil too. That's just so that we've got them there. Then get back into your first tab. So what we're going to do now is you can use any brushes at all for this. Just to show you that brushes are versatile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of brushes from the watercolour set. And if I just check that and go up there, and the first one I am going to choose is this one. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer. And on top, in this new layer, which I will name brush, so I'm just going to go in here and just click this a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six will work fine for what I'm going to do. And with that there, going to go back to the move tool and I'm just going to right click on this angel layer and then go down and go create clipping mask so you can see that she is in there now if I move her I can move her off I can bring her back in it doesn't matter where you move her to but you will notice that some of the wings are missing so what I'm also going to do is go back into the brush layer and then choose another brush and in this case, I am going to choose, for example, this one. Click at the top, make the brush a bit bigger. Rotate the brush using the arrow keys and the keyboard and just go to about there and paint. Now you'll notice when I'm painting, I'm having to click quite a few times, but that's simply because when I created the brushes, I created them so that they had a washed in effect. So that's the reason I'm having to click as much. I'm then also going to take it down a bit in size, rotate it around there and click again. So we have that effect but I still need to add more to it. And that's simply through choice because what we're doing here is we're just really getting just creative with clipping masks and colours. The colours we will add in very soon. So I'm just going to grab another brush 
And let's go down to find a splash brush. That one will do fine, yes. I'm just going to rotate that with the arrow keys in the keyboard. And just probably click there two or three times. So I'm going to add another brush in here as well. And let's just go for that one. And let's just see the effect that, that adds. So let's just go in there. And it's basically, it's just adding white. I'm painting in nothing else but white. She's clipped to that, so I can move her. If I take the move tool, I can move her anywhere within this area. But I'm going to leave her where she was. And then we're going to look at adding colour to this as well. So I'm going to bring in a, another couple of images just to add effect to this. I'm just going to drop that one there. And that's okay sitting there. Click OK, rasterize it. So what you do with this layer here is drag it below the angel layer. And you'll notice it's actually clipped to the brush layer. And with this, we can move this around to wherever we want. We can put it over there. We can scale it up. It's entirely up to you what you do with this. For me, I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to leave it there for this. Then we're going to bring in the other colour image, which is that one there. I'm going to scale it up slightly, just by grabbing one of the handles, click OK. I'm then going to rasterize it. And then I'm going to drag that below the previous coloured layer. So we now have this in here, and I can move that one around wherever I want it to be. So I'm going to do that with it. Each time you do this, you will create a new effect or new style. And it's entirely up to you how you do this. So that's us very quickly and simply just created this. Perhaps this is just too much though. It just depends on how distressed an effect you want to achieve with this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the areas in here, but I'm going to do that via a mask. So I'm going to create a reveal all mask. I'm then going to go in and I'm going to choose another brush. And it doesn't matter what brush you, you use. I'm simply using these just to show you that should you decide to purchase the tutorial, the watercolour tutorial, these brushes, they can be used for anything at all. So let's just take that one, for example. Now, this might work, it might not, but that's the good thing. And then just use the brush to remove or to add any other areas you wish. I'm going to leave it at that. That just gives you the idea of what you can do. Next, I'm going to add two new layers and entitle them Brush 2 and Brush 3, ready for the next effect that we're going to add. So I'm going to select Brush 2 layer, and I'm going to get back into the watercolour, the Learn, Create, Explore watercolour set, and I'm going to choose just that end brush there. I'm going to ensure that I'm painting in white, which has six Fs as its hex colour. I'm going to ensure that my opacity is at 100 and my flow is 100. And I'm just going to click here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 to get to there. Then I'm going to go Control or Command and T. Hold down Shift. I'm going to drag it out. Drag that out. And take that down. So you can see we've got a slightly torn edge on this. And that brush is universal, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same at the top on the new layer. And then Control or Command and T, drag it out, drag it out, take that one to the top as well. I don't actually like this one down here. So what I'm going to do is very simply, because it's a double-edged torn edge, I'm going to flip this one. So I'm going to select the layer, edit, transform, flip, vertical. That's better. Straight away, that's better. I prefer that one straight away. A couple more things to do, and then we are finished with this. So I'm going to choose a layer just above the angel and create a new layer. In this new layer, I am just going to simply, using the rectangular marquee, I'm very simply... Just going to draw that. 
Now, this will move. It's entirely up to you how big you make this, how small you make it. It's entirely up to you. But what I'm going to do with that layer one selected, which is the marquee one, I'm going to go to gold foil one. And I'm going to go select all, edit, copy, go back into my original, ensuring that I'm on layer one with the selection. And go edit, paste special, paste into. And you'll notice it's here. So you can see it's actually a different size than what we actually made the marquee, but also the image is a lot smaller than the one that we're creating. So we simply hold down Control and T, which is free transform, hold down Shift. Now we can hold down Shift and stretch it if you want, or you can simply scale it. It's entirely up to you depending on the type of effect you want with this. And that, as you will notice, because we went paste into, it's pasted it and created a mask for it. So if I go to move this, watch what happens. I can move this right through. The mask stays in place. And I can pull it off to an edge there. I can take it to that edge there. It's entirely up to you. I also have the option of flipping the image. So if I go in, select the image, you'll see that by the white bounding box. Go edit, transform, flip horizontal. You see we have that over there. And that's just to let you see it. I'm not going to leave it at that because I quite like the contrast in here. So I'm just going to go, simply go edit, undo. And that's it there. Right. Every time I go to move that, it only moves the image. But what if I want to actually move the line down or scale the line? I'll just reset that. Simply go in between the two and click once. And you'll notice that the link icon appears. So now if I go to move that, it actually moves what we've just created. So I can place that wherever I want. And I'm just going to leave it in there for the contrast. Just repeat the process to add the second one, remembering to choose Paste Into. And just remember at any point you can go back in and you can change any part of this image using the brushes. It's entirely up to you. It's your creativity. You get the images that you want from this. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it allows you to see just how versatile in this case brushes in Photoshop are. They can be used for any purpose, it just comes down to your own creativity. I'll leave a link below if you do indeed fancy having a look at the course. Thanks again for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.